Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike Badger. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on one of the new features on Appa.org. And that new feature is the membership directory. And here you can see that I'm looking right at our home page. Up in the top level navigation is a link that says directory. If I click on that, you'll see a bunch of stuff in there. Um, these are This is a new import, so not a lot of things are, are filled in. Uh, so... The first thing I need to do is log in and you should have received this login via your when you sign up or on the import when I sent you a, an email announcing the website I gave you some links to get a login get your password if you didn't get that email uh, the appropriate response is to send me an email at grid at apple.org let me know who you are and what your preferred and best email address is and so here we go we're just gonna log in with my account and as you can see now here's my profile everything happens here from our profile <clears throat> and first of all I'll just show you my directory profile by def that I have already configured so I just click on that link and here it is you can scroll down you can see that I've got my name farm name city logo the products that I'm selling, how I'm feeding, you know, and some just some some interesting stuff here about me to build out my listing for customers. So now the thing that we want to do is we'll go back here to the profile screen and we can edit the profile. So if I click on edit profile, I'm going to come to this screen right here and you can see lots of options I'm not going to explain each one of those you're you're you're, you're uh, talented enough to to grasp what these fields are if you see something here that that you don't have I'm sorry if you don't see something that is listed that you think should be listed as a way to describe what you're doing and how you're selling products just let me know um uh, this is a our first iteration, our first pass at this. Um, the idea here is for the directory to be self-managed by you so you control all of its content. Um, also, in this directory, this profile, you know, this is your address. So this is how I send you the grit too. So if you have a, an, an address change or an email change, phone number, whatever, you can come in here, manage that information on your own. I will automatically get it and so this profile here is really going to pull a lot of different um, what what what's the word it's going to it's going to do a lot of things for us. So one of it's going to be to keep give APA your best information. It's going to be a way to give customers information about what you're selling. And it's also going to be a way to display some information that is only visible to other members. Um, or you can hide your directory all together so a lot of options let's go ahead and check it out most of that happens here in the privacy so you can see here I'm looking at my profile I'm editing it and I'm looking at there's a couple of links here below the save and cancel profile that's where I am but there's also this thing called privacy so under privacy you know I can choose to show my profile to others all profiles are enabled by default and it only shows name and city <laughs> pretty much and state so it's virtually not usable in a default configuration but I want you to go in there set it up configure it be found at least you know as much as you want to be you can determine how and what gets visible so here and here's some of that information right so this is these are permissions so anybody is the public Members are your other APA members, and then no access means neither the public nor other members can see it. And if we just scroll right down here, I have some of these are my default settings that I, I configured when I built the directory for, for you guys. Membership level, virtually useless for other people. That's only of interest to you and, and APA. Uh, user ID, same thing. Now you start scrolling down here. And if you want to publicly post your email address, you can. 
phone number, you can. Uh, farm business name, you can. Address and zip, I have no access by default so that we don't give away your full mailing address. You can certainly do that if you like. Um, but I want to spend a little time here talking about what's about some of the email phone settings. So you'll notice that by default here we have up at the top here's an email and a phone field. There's currently set to no access. Now and then down at the bottom I have a farm email and farm phone. The reason I set the directory up like this is working under the premise that you probably want a separate email and phone to be visible to non-customers. And if you have a customer seeking out product, you probably have a, a farm-specific email or a farm-specific phone that you want them to call. So that's how this is set up. So farm email, farm phone down here, it's visible to the public. And when you come up here for the email and the phone, it's defaulted to no access. Now you could, for example, make this email visible to only members. So now when a member logs in and looks at the directory, they can see, oh, that's Mike's, that's Mike's personal email address, or that's an email address for Mike that's not his ordering, his customer order email. You understand what I'm saying? It's not complicated, but it's customizable, and sometimes that makes things appear to be more complicated than they are. Try it, do it, make a change, look at what you do, and, and you'll get the hang of it. If, if you need a help, you know, you know where to reach me. Email me, grid at appa.org. Um, now, the other thing related to our email here is this send a message form. So, let's say you don't want anybody really to have your email, members or not, your personal email. You can enable this send message form. And right now I have it set for, for members because it's going to use this field. Send message uses the email field right here. And what this does is allows other people, in this case, other members, to send you an email without knowing your email address. So if I go into the directory and I want to search for, you know, Spence or somebody, and I'm like, oh, yeah, there's Spence's listing. I pull them up. I'm, I'm signed in as a member. I get this nice big button at the top that says send email. So I send it, and Spence gets the email through the website, and I don't know his email unless I respond or that Spence responds to me. So there is some privacy built into this, as I, as I mentioned. Give it a whirl. And if you can see here, let me just, um, we'll go with postal code here, and we'll make that visible to everybody, and we'll hide the about just to show you what things, you know, what happens here. So there, you know, there's my postal code showing up. There's my about section gone um gone but not gone forever my back button gave a little um uh, pay it'll little error message there so i'll just hit refresh i've noticed that happens sometimes i'll leave that in the video to show you just hit the refresh button on your browser f5 is the shortcut key if you need it um so we're gonna edit this profile again and under privacy is how you control which things are visible and not. So where'd I go here? Postal code. Yeah, nobody needs to know my postal code. Make them look it up. That's that's how I say it. Um, and then my about page is public. That's really all there is to it. It's it's simple, but we're going to be driving people to this directory when we publish our Better Way video um, for customers. It's going to push people to appa.org to find a producer near them. And if you're not listed with meaningful information, they're not going to find you. And I do get calls every month from people looking for pasture poultry that they can't find. Sometimes I'm able to match them up with members. You know, other times I, I can't help them. But having an accurate and updated information directory is a good place to start. And it's free with your membership. And this is how we are helping you to connect with customers one of the ways and connect with your other members. So jump in there, use it, explore it, 
shoot me the questions as you have them. And you'll also notice here that in your profile, you have this member photo album. <clears throat> so we don't have, I don't have a photo album created yet. So if I want to add some, I just hit create photo album and we'll give it a title, chickens. Okay, now I get to upload my photos and I got some, uh, let's see here. So I think I got some stuff on my desktop. Yeah, so here's, <clears throat> here's me holding a chicken. We'll put that in there. There, let's go get some of these what do you call them? They're uh, sasos, the naked necks. So we're gonna we're gonna get some here. They're at the feed trough. Not really paying much attention to these images. I just want you to see what they are. Uh, let's see here. So there's a final cooking shot. Here's one of my favorite ways to do chicken, which is one of these nice charcoal grills. And then I upload them. Let's have a drum roll, please. Okay, and uh, depending on the size of your files here, they will will take a moment to upload. You can see we have a pretty liberal storage space. Each photo can be 100 megabytes in sizes. So here we go. Here's our four images. They're uploaded. So let me show you how this works if I'm a customer. So I'm going to come in here. Actually, I'm going to sign out. We'll continue using this inferior browser. Um, so I'm a customer. I come in here to, to appa.org. I'm looking for, for somebody near me. I come in. I'm going to say, oh, I know this dude in Hughesville. Oh, there we go. I found it. Here's my listing. A lot of information right here on the, the screen. They don't have to go further, but if they do... You know, here's my listing, and now my photo album is visible. And here I can I can look at photos, right? Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. And that is how we do it. That's the membership directory. Part of your member benefit connects you to customers and to other members. It's how we stay connected, folks. It's free. It's self-managed by you. You just have to take a moment to do it. And if you're running into any problems, you know, look up the app of contact and let me let me know those questions and I'll help you as as fast and as best as I can. Thank you.